Hi there, my name is Aman Semalti. This is the second video on my channel. Uh, I mean, it's not technically the second video. It's okay. Basically, it's the second video after I have started to, you know, try again to be consistent. But you know, you get you get what I mean. So last video, I talked about my goals and the whole, uh, you know, university admission process thingy i was talking about i just basically introduced you to the things that i'll be talking about in my further videos and this is one of those further videos so in today's video i am thinking of telling you guys about gpa and uh, you know this uh, the optional test scores which are required for the college admissions process so what is gpa gpa are your grades you know the grades which the, the mark sheets that you get you fill the exam, you know, 9th ka exam bhara, 10th ka boards bhara, 11th ka exam bhara, 12th ka boards bhara. These, these things are called your grades, your GPA. And if you want to get admissions into like, you know, really good universities in like US, Canada, Australia, all these, you know, fabulous places, you have to maintain a good GPA. Okay. So let me tell you what a good GPA is. So a good GPA for you will vary according to the university you're targeting. For example, if I'm targeting Ivy Leagues and elite universities, you know, like the top 100 universities in the world, if I'm targeting those universities, my GPA has to be, you know, really, really high. For example, let me just translate it to you in percentage terms, okay? So let's say you have an average of 95 or 95 above percentage in your 9th, 10th, 11th and 12th grade. That is a solid GPA, okay? But you have to realize in order to get an average of 95 or 95 or above, you know, like average percentage in 9th, 10th, 11th, 12th, you have to score like above 90s in all four classes. And that requires a lot of dedication, a lot of practice, you know, a lot of effort in your academics, the school level, you know, study that you do. Other than that, in order to have, you know, a even stronger academic profile, uh, although test scores are optional, but if you add a test score, basically I mean the SAT, ACTs, the standardized tests that you can take, that you know a lot of universities uh, accept uh, so if you have these scores along with a good gpa you uh, automatically increase your chances of getting into like these good universities so so far i'm in 11th grade right now so i have 93 percent in my ninth standard i have 97 percent in my 10th standard like the boards and in 11th i'm targeting something like 97 or 98 and so far, uh, I would also like to score, you know, in the same range in 12th standard also, so that I'll be able to get a 95 or 95 above uh, average percentage. So that would be a solid GPA. So far, I have the, I have the SAT score of 1400. Uh, so I'll brief you on the whole standardized test situations. Okay. So standardized test, the SAT tests you on English and math, like basic English and math skills. Math aati hai tumhari 10th ke level tak ki. And English will test you on, you know, the native English which people speak abroad. So it tests you on those skills. And uh, the ACT has English and maths. Along with it, there is a bit of like science portion. So in the SAT, you have to score out of 1600. In the ACT, you have to score out of 36. So these are the two tests which you can apply to. The same foundation like uh, the college board. Uh, organizes like uh, these tests worldwide like it happens uh, the SAT for example happens seven times a year so you can you know uh, take it according to your convenience although the fee according to Indian standards is a bit high it's 10,000 for like the exam so it's a bit high but uh, if you get a really good score like if you get something like 1500 1550 or you know a 1600 if you're lucky then that that is like insane if you have a 1500 or above score if then you have your good gpa then you have a, a good extracurricular profile and you have good personality overall you basically will get into like a lot of good universities abroad and they might even offer you good amount of scholarships basically sandrai tests do two things they show your academic potential and they also you know if you have a higher sat score higher act score then you are more likely to get the scholarships and financial aids. So, for example, if a student has 1550 or 1580 score with a good academics and, you know, good overall profile and he gets admitted into, for example, MIT, Stanford or all these elite universities, but he can't afford the fee, which is like really high. So they can, they offer like 75% scholarships, 
you know even 100% scholarships like the child has to pay zero zero dollars for the tuition they just have to manage their living expenses also so that's it so standard standardized test does two things first is boost your academic profile you know show your academic potential and the second is is that it increases your increases your chances for getting like scholarships so that's it so i started preparing for the sat since 9th standard and uh, now that i have a 1400 score but i would say i would recommend what i would recommend is that if you want to go for sat or act i would say start preparing from 9th standard like you know take one or two years complete because uh, if you give it early like i did i gave it once in the december like uh, like last year december then i gave it in like this year june i mean i gave it in both 9th 10th right so and this june also so i gave it like basically three times so uh, if you want to give the test early on see you have both pros and cons if you get a good score early on no the sat score has a validity of 5 years matlab agar mere paas score hai acha khasa maan lo mere paas 1550 ka score hai so i have 5 years of validity that means if i give the sat in 9th standard that means if and if i get a good score then i can just skip uh, you know i can let it the, let the score sit there for like 4 years till i complete my 12th standard then i can immediately apply that score to colleges and get into like good universities so that's the benefit the disadvantages is that uh, as i said it tests you on maths which is like 10th tak ka maths aata hai so if you are giving it a 9th standard obviously you'll have to study the 10th ka syllabus and that is a bit hectic because Uh, obviously managing your academics maintaining good grades you know and uh, doing extra curriculars while preparing for such tests is a lot uh, lot stressful and you know it's hard to manage so that's one thing and uh, although i was very lucky because uh, i have a score of 1400 right now although i will improve it but i have got that score along with getting like good gp i have a 97% in my boards and the amount of preparation that i did uh, Uh, and you know the amount of time that i dedicated to studying for the sat that was like uh, if you factor all that in i would say that i managed both of these things really well but not every person will be able to manage these things so i would recommend that you know you study for your sat your acts while uh, working on your academics in for like 2 years then you give the sat in 11th standard like you just have to you have, you prep basically for as long as you can then you go for the sat in like maybe 11th or 12th or you know after you complete 12th as per your convenience but uh, i would say uh, if you want to give the paper the uh, sat act is early then you will have to be a really good you know a person who can really manage all the things together because it gets a lot hectic and stressful so yeah that's the whole thing related to gpas and extra curriculars and optional scores so Uh, i would say uh, i would do i would do one more video regarding this whole gpa thing i'll explain the way i prepared for the sat i'll explain the way how i tackled with board exams and I, how i managed my academics and you know all these scores and all the all these extra curricular activities so i'll be discussing uh, those things in my second like the second part of this video so you'll have more clarity right now i've explained to you the whole process of gpa how that factors in with your optional test scores and how you have to manage both of them if you want to get into a good college and how that you know increases your overall or overall resume so that's uh, i think it for this video uh, thank you for watching till the end uh, a like and share for the video would be great and i have attached the link to my blog and my instagram account in the description below and uh, please do comment any suggestions if you can uh, that would be really great so yeah Thanks and I'll see you probably after 2 or 3 days. I'll see. Okay. Thank you.